This video is brought to you by Ageless Geeks. Kelabunga dudes and dudettes, this is Anthony, aka Batbomb82, and today I'll be doing a review of The Storm Collectibles Injustice Doomsday. Now, taking a look at the front, we can see that the figure is showcased in a window box packaging. Turning the box around, we can see multiple images and panels showcasing the figure in multiple posing positions with his different interchangeable parts and accessories. So with the box out of the way, let's crack this figure open and see what we have inside. Alright guys, now here is Doomsday out of the box. And man, this is a big figure. He is just huge. And you'll see some size comparisons later on. Uh, now again, I've said this before, I'm not a huge fan of the Injustice looks uh, for the characters. Uh, this one is pretty good for the most part because it does... Uh, didn't change a whole lot. Uh, I really do not like these, like, high-tech looking, uh, strappy, like, shorts that he's rocking. Um, it just doesn't work for me. For you, it's probably really dope. And don't get me wrong, it's really well done. You got some Doomsday booty back there. That all looks really nice. It's nicely painted, nicely sculpted. All these buckles look really, really good. Um, so that's really gonna be my only real complaint with the exception of the head. Um, the head is really, really small, and again, I know that's the aesthetic, it's, it's, I get it, um, it just doesn't work for me, but it still looks really, really good. Uh, the texturing of things like the skin, and all these, like, spikes and things coming off, like these bones coming out, protruding off of him, uh, again, you can see the texturing in the belly, and the shading, the veining, all looks really, really good. Storm Collectibles does an incredible job with their product. I really, really dig this. He got his ponytail back here, which is really nice. That looks good. Uh, all of this just looks really, really well done. Very nice quality. Again, I really, absolutely love what Storm Collectibles does with their figures. They just do some awesome toys, man. They are becoming one of the best toy companies out there. And when you see something like this, that's just this big and badass, you can totally understand why. Okay, so let's talk accessories here. Uh, we don't get a whole lot. So again, we do get a standard head sculpt, which looks really good in my opinion. Again, I love that they actually did just a super detailed head sculpt. I think it looks great. The red of the eyes looks awesome. Again, his teeth, that like bone beard thing he's got going all looks really, really well done. I absolutely love it. Um, you can actually take this off here, just on a standard ball pig, and we can pop on this other one, which I think is even better. Pop this on right here, like so. Get that on there. It's a little tricky right there. All right. But we have the more yelling head, which looks even better. And you can see the inside of his mouth. That one looks really freaking dope, man. I really, really dig this. Uh, they just do such incredibly detailed work. Again, my only real issue is the size of it. It just looks a little weird to me. Um, again, if you go look past it, I get it. Again, it's the aesthetic. Totally understand. Uh, but for me, it just looks a little too small. So uh, for me, that's a bit of a problem. You can kind of see just it just looks little but I I get it uh, we also do get interchangeable hands we got things like closed fisted hands we get these more curled finger hands and then we got these hands that are more open palm all very nicely sculpted and then just standard uh, storm collectibles pegs like that uh, they're slightly gummy which is really nice and that's one thing I'll say too uh, the spikes can be kind of gummy on here and here but these ones up here pretty rigid and pretty pointy uh and i noticed like when i'm like posing him around and doing stuff and just moving him around i was kind of like stabbing myself well, they're not crazy sharp but they will poke you put a bit and uh it will kind of hurt so we don't get a ton of accessories with this guy because he doesn't really use weapons and effects and all that stuff you really just need different heads and different clobbering hands that's really all you need and it works for this guy Okay, so let's talk his articulation here. So the head is on a ball joint. Uh, looks like a double ball peg in the neck right there. Uh, since his whole upper torso is a softer pliable plastic, uh, you get a lot of good motion there. Rotate left and right. Uh, up, probably about that far down, about that much, and pivot side to side. Arms can go full 360 on ball pegs. We do get butterfly joints in there that are on ball pegs as well. Up and out about that far. Rotation in the bicep. 
Uh, double double jointed elbows, but they only bend just under 90, uh, and that's mostly because of the bulk of the actual figure. We got rotation at the wrist as well as a hinge at the wrist. We get a double ball pig in the midsection, so that rolls around very nice. Uh, you will get some gapping here with like the crotch piece uh, and in here in like the upper torso, uh, but you could just play with it and work it around. But it works very nice. Rotate left and right, crunches back and forth, and pivot side to side. We got hip joints that kicks forward up and far that much back all the way. We do the splits. Uh, uh, just it's a little tricky to do the splits here, but he can go about that far right there Rotation in that upper thigh very very tight joints here We got double double jointed knee, but only bends about 90 again because of the bulk of the figure uh, Ankles go up down very nice ankle rocker, and then we do get toe articulation So overall I do think this is badass even with my complaints of things like the head feeling too small uh, And again, just not really a big fan of the aesthetics of the injustice look but this guy is freaking impressive, man. Pose him around with some of like your other DC figures. And again, you'll see pictures later on. Uh, but he is just awesome. He is a badass doomsday figure and definitely one to consider picking up for your DC collection. So for a quick size comparison, here he is standing next to a Marvel Legends Deadpool and NECA Batman figures. Also for comparison, here he is sitting next to the Storm Collectibles in Justice Lobo and Darkseid. And for even more comparison, here he is sitting next to the DC Multiverse in Justice Superman from Mattel and Marvel Legends Red Hulk. And just for fun, here he is with Little Lego Bat Bomb. So there it is guys, my review of the Storm Collectibles in Justice Doomsday. Now, honestly, I'm actually liking this figure a lot better than I thought I was going to. He is a giant, beefy, monstrous action figure, and Storm Collectibles always does an amazing job. Like I've stated before, I'm not a giant fan of the Injustice looks, as they just don't really work for me. But luckily, Doomsday is one of those characters that actually benefited and doesn't have quite a different look than he would from the comics. His spikes are awesome, the paint detailing is fantastic and clean, I love the veining musculature, and all the details are just perfect. My only real big issue is the fact that his head is kinda small, but I also know that's the aesthetic, so I'll give it a pass. But still, he is an awesome figure with minor flaws, his articulation works very well, even considering his bulkiness, and I just think he is one big badass action figure that would look awesome in your DC collections. So please comment, like, and subscribe. Stay nerdy, my friends. Peace.